Why I wanted to join the academy was because I had heard from a lot of different people who went here in the past that it's a fantastic academy and the training is fantastic and they do an excellent job with their problem-based learning program. And through problem-based learning, I, I'm getting more of a feel um, what the job entails. And I think that once I finally get out there, I'll have the skills and abilities to do that job. Ferris came in at number one in law enforcement and law enforcement training. So I wanted to get the very best in my training for my future. So I, had to, I came here for the uh, academy and for the educational benefits. This is a career that I really want to do well in and if someone is going into law enforcement this is the program to go into. The Academy is set up with two semesters or their full senior year here at Ferris State University and uh, they go through uh, the first semester with criminal law, criminal procedure and also motor vehicle code, traffic law, conflict management and then also they have a uh, physical component where they have to go three days a week to uh, physical training or PT in the morning. The uh, things that we look at, a lot of the standards through the state of Michigan, they have to have uh, a minimum of a 70% or better, and some of them are actually 80% or better on the requirements to pass the courses. A physical component uh, is something that uh, they have to take a pre-academy entry exam to take where there's four core uh, push-ups, sit-ups, vertical jump, and then a shuttle run. And then after that, when they get into the academy, what we like to do is watch them progress and get better. In the beginning, we were all at about the 40 percentile, and then we move up to the 60th percentile. And with PT, they have to make sure that we're physically fit in order to go out there into the force. One of the biggest factors that we like to see develop with the police recruit when they come into the academy is time management. In the world of law enforcement, again, you've got to manage your personal life with your law enforcement life, with your or physical readiness life. All that stuff is real, is real world. With the schedule from 9 to 5, sometimes 8 to 5 every day, sometimes later, uh, you really have to have that time management down. You need to balance the workload after class. You have to set aside a certain amount of hours to do homework. To go to the gym, you have to make sure that you're getting plenty of water, plenty of sleep. I try to get at least six hours of sleep before PT. You need to rest your body. And it's really just, you know, managing what's important in your life. You know, if you like to play video games or watch TV a lot, or, or you just have to maybe cut some of that stuff out, maybe pull it back a little bit, start to focus on, okay, I'm dedicated to this. I really need to get my physical training up because you don't want to let your recruits down out there. You want to stay up and be able to keep up with them and that's what you need to try to focus on. You treat it as if it was homework as for any other class. You say, hey, I need to make some time tonight. I need to get out there and work out so I can do good tomorrow during PT. They have to get up early in the morning. They're up at 6.30 in the morning, usually there, ready to go for physical training, and um, it takes a lot. It's pretty tough, especially with PT. You really have to tell yourself that you can do it even though you might feel like you can't do it or your body might be hurting. We have other people around us that are going through the same thing, so that helps too. Uh, the me mental toughness is something that needs to be there. You have to have the will to be able to keep going during PT. You really have to, you really have to want this. You need to have a passion for it. The, the first month, this academy tests you in so many different ways, mentally, physically. Your body is, the first couple weeks is destroyed. You're so sore, you don't get a whole lot of sleep. You're not used to getting up at five in the morning. You know, it, it, it's hard. You need to have the passion. You need to really want to help people. You need to want to get out in the field and make a difference. It's creating us into the law enforcement officers that the world needs, you know, that Michigan needs, that we can serve the public to the best of our abilities. But to do that, we need to be physically in shape. You just have to say to yourself that Right now, you're not in the best shape of your life, but you can get to that level. You keep working hard, put the time in. Just with anything, the more time you put into it, the better the results will be. And I know that the goal at the end of this is it's what I've always wanted, and I know I can get to that goal, and I just work harder every day.